Registrar at Princess Alice Hospital, Daniel St. Louis, says the medical emergency number 434 has been in existence for some time, but admits it has not been as widely known as they would like, nor has it been effectively used in cases of emergencies. Mr. St. Louis was a guest on Good Morning Grenada on Tuesday. At present, excuse, we have diverted it out of the ANE where it used to be. It's now in a special place, and there are dispatchers. China did some training with them over the, a couple of days ago who are just assigned to answering these phones, um, getting pertinent information, transferring the calls across so that individuals can be sought out and brought in where they can receive definitive care. 434 for a medical emergency. He says the 434 telephone system will also ensure quicker responses when it comes to emergency vehicles getting to the patients in need. We're going to have six bases on the island, EMT bases. Like we said, St. George's, St. David's Health Center, Sotez, Princess Alice, I forgot Princess Alice, right. so, my hospital, Sotez, Princess Alice, Gov, Karyaku. Okay. And what's going to happen, it is going to, be, we, we, it is going to be such that there is a dedicated room for EMTs where we have people 24-7. So we are always going to have folks there and the calls are going to be sent to that telephone that's right at the EMS base. The EMTs are there 24-7 the phone rings, you pick up the phone. Right. As it means that response time is reduced drastically, and so you just need to find this patient, start the treatment, and take them safely to the hospital where they can get the definitive care. Emergency medical consultant Shannon Langston says the system is designed to closely monitor Grenada's emergency services and response. As we develop this system is to track all of the calls that come in. What you can do is you can map these, right, the number of calls that come from each location so that you can ensure the ambulances are placed close to the population centers where the calls come in. Now, this is more difficult in rural areas. You, you need more ambulances for fewer people. But within the population centers, you can actually track the times it takes from when the call comes in, when the ambulance is dispatched, how long it takes for them to arrive, and how long it takes them to get to the hospital. These are things that we'll record, and as time goes on, we will modify the system probably to improve response times uh, so that we can um, work on the system to, to improve all aspects of it. Blossom Alexis Welsh, GBN News.